Hello beautiful people, welcome to yet another awesome tutorial on this beautiful day. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? It's been a while I released a tutorial and I just want to ask you, how are you doing? How are you holding on? If you ask me the same question, I'm going to say I am doing great. So today, it's going to be another tutorial again and I'm going to be looking at another Internet of Things vendor, in this case, which is ThingSpeak. Simpsic is coming from Matworks, those folks that produce MATLAB, so you should expect something huge. So, how is Simpsic? It's very easy for beginners and experts to get started with. Very straight out of the box, support for widgets, for chats, for different type of chats you might want, and it supports, it supports quite a number of IoT bots. So, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be looking at how to send data from ESP8266, which is not MCU, to ThingSpeak platform and as, I, as we are going to see it's very easy to work with so ladies and gentlemen if you like this tutorial don't forget to keep give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click on the notification icon so you'll be the first to be informed when I release a new tutorial so everybody let's get started first with the hardware connection here we have the hardware connection I have my node MCU connected to DHC11. For this tutorial, I'll be using a DHC11. So it has four pins. And the connection goes like this. This is pin one. It's connected to three volts. Three volts. Connect pin one to three volts on the node MCU. And connect a 10K resistor between pin one and pin two. And from pin two, connect it to D4, that is pin 2, D4 of the node MCU, and the third pin is not going to be connected, but we are going to connect the fourth pin to ground. So once again, connect pin 1 to 3 volts of the node MCU, you connect the 10k resistor between pin 1 and pin 2, and from pin 2, connect to D4. We meet pin 3, pin 3 we are not going to use it, and connect pin 4 to the ground of the node MCU. So now, I will plug it in and we are going to do the necessary setup on the laptop. After setting up the hardware, open your web browser to set up ThinkSpeak by going to thinkspeak.com. And now to note that ThinkSpeak is provided by Matworks. So if you have a Matworks account, you can use it to log in into ThinkSpeak. So they are also the provider of MATLAB. So if you have a MATLAB account, you can use the same account to log in into ThinkSpeak. So here I'm in ThinkSpeak homepage. Here we are going to be logging in. If you don't have an account, you have to sign up. Then you can log in afterwards. So I'm going to be logging into my account and I'm going to be creating a dashboard to monitor my IoT device. So to log in, simply click on the profile icon by the top right hand corner. And then we are going to be directed to the place of signing in. So we are going, we are going to be signing into our MatWork account. So just input your email. If you don't have an account, just click on create one and a new account will be created for you. So next, and I'm going to put in my password. So with this, I've successfully signed in to my ThinkSpeak account and I'm going to create, in, I'm going to be creating a dashboard, which in the case of ThingSpeak, it's being referred to as channels. So I'm going to be creating some channels, a, just a single channel actually, to monitor my ESP8266. So to create a new channel, kindly click on new channel. And yeah, I'm going to give my dashboard, or in this case, channel a name. Yeah, I'm going to call this ESP8266. Mm, that's weather. Okay, I think that's good, guys. Oh, it's supposed to be EA. Okay, yeah. So, basically, I'm going to be taking two telemetry data, which are temperature and humidity. So, only one field is engaged automatically. So, by default, one field is engaged. I'm going to engage field two. So, I'm going to label my first field temperature and second field humidity. 
So if you scroll down, there are some other options that you can set metadata tag to easily recognize your device. You can set links to external sites. You can link to GitHub. You can also include videos and also map. If I engage this, I can include map widgets, which is going to show the location of my IoT device. But I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. So you can also, if you want to show a video in your dashboard, you can also click on show video and just put the link to the video here. So I've just leave everything as it is and click on no. I'm just going to fill in the description. Okay, yeah, I think it's good like this. Okay. And I'm going to click on save channel. So with this, you are done creating your ThinkSpeak dashboard. If you check the dashboard, I have my channel ID at the very top. This is the name of the dashboard and I have my description here. So the access for now is private. So it's only you that can see it. So this is private view, what you can see. This is public view. So right now the channel is not public. So I can choose to make it public. So I have my channel settings here where you can include other fields. You can also change the initial settings. Here we can clear all the data in our channel and here we can delete the channel. So if you come to sharing, you can choose to make this particular channel available to some people by just entering their username and coming down to API keys. This is where we're going to be seeing keys that we can use to interact with our channel. Here if we have the right API key and here is the read API key. So if you check to the right, we have some code snippets on how we can use these keys. So I'm not going to be using any of these things. I'm going to be programming it's on the Arduino IDE, so I just have to copy my right API key when writing the code. And lastly, we have data export. So if you want to export the data, majorly in CSV format, you can just come to the last tab and export your data. So with this, you are done creating a dashboard on ThinkSpeak. Now I'm going to be configuring the Arduino code to send data successfully to ThinkSpeak platform. After which, we're also going to be creating a visualization to easily see our data. So here I am in my Arduino IDE. And before you can send data successfully from ESP8266, which is Node MCU, to ThinkSpeak, and in this case that we are sending DHC11 sensor data, we're going to be needing to grab two libraries. I'm already assuming that you already have your ESP8266 and your Arduino IDE set up to read DHC level sensor data. But if that's not the case, you can just come to sketch and include libraries. And for this tutorial, I'm using the DHC library from Adafruit. So the first thing you like to do is to make sure that your ESP8266 is successfully reading the DHC level sensor data. So I'm just going to type in DHC on the library manager and if you scroll down so you're going to see DHC sensor library which is by Adafruit so I already have it installed so if you want to follow along with the code for this tutorial I'm using DHC sensor library from Adafruit so I already have that installed and to send data to ThinkSpeak we also need to grab the ThinkSpeak library from Matworks so just search for ThinkSpeak and just at the very top, we have ThinkSpeak by Matworks. So, and also install this. So I already have it installed and I'm not going to be doing that again. So with these two libraries, we are good to go. So these two libraries came with some sample codes that we can use to test our ESP8266. So the first one we like to test for is if our ESP8266 is successfully reading DST level sensor data. So I'm going to be running the sample code that came with it. So here I have the code that came with the DSC library. So if I run this, I'm going to upload it to my ESP8266. Once the code is done uploading, if I open the serial monitor, I'm able to see the data streaming in. 
I have humidity, temperature in degree Celsius and Fahrenheit. I have heat index in degree Celsius and Fahrenheit. So with this, I'm done with the first step of making sure that my ESP to success is reading the DST 11 sensor data correctly. So the next thing I'm to do is to make sure all this data is being sent to ThinkSpeak platform. So, and that's why we download the ThinkSpeak library. So I'm going to be editing the code now so to include the ThinkSpeak functionality. So I'm, just, I'm not going to be sitting down to type the code out because of your time. And here I have the code written out to send data from ESP 26s to ThinkSpeak library. So the link to the code is going to be in the description below. So at the very top, I'm including the headers. If you can see here, I'm including DST library and here I'm including the ThinkSpeak library. So here, we give our Wi-Fi SSID and password. And also, if you come to the second tab, which is secrets.h, I'm also typing my SSID and password again. So two other things we need to grab from ThinkSpeak platform. First is the channel ID and second is the channel write API key. So I've just added over to my ThinkSpeak. So this is the channel ID. I'm going to be copying this. And paste it in secret.h. And lastly, I'm going to be grabbing my channel write API key. So if you come to API keys, so at the very top, we have the write API key. So copy this from ThinkSpeak platform and paste it in secret.h in the code. So I'm going to be placing it here. So save this and we're going to be uploading it to the ESP 26s So with this, you can feel free to scroll down the code and check if there's anything you want to edit to your test. Here I'm declaring two floats, which is T and H for reading the temperature in Celsius and also the temperature and also the humidity. And this line is sending the data to ThinkSpeak platform. So with this, I'm done with the code. I'm just going to upload this and we'll see the results. In the serial monitor and finally the code is done uploading if i open the serial monitor as you can see it has successfully connected to my wi-fi so i have the message channel update is successful and i have the following data which is humidity and temperature so things big updated data every 20 seconds so the same thing, again, my code is going to wait for 20 seconds before sending to TextSpeak. And as you can see here, also channel update successfully. So if I open my browser and navigate to TextSpeak platform. So here I have my TextSpeak with the following data coming into TextSpeak. As you can see, I have my humidity displayed at the right hand corner and the feed one chart is temperature. So if I increase the temperature, on my DHC11 is going to be reflected here in real time. So that's basically how to send data from ESP826 using DHC11 sensor data to ThinkSpeak. And before I finish this tutorial, I want to mention two different things. So as you can see, for now, this channel is only in private view. Therefore, anybody on the web cannot access it. So what if you want to share this channel with your colleague, your friends? So you can just come to sharing. And yeah, for now, what is take this? Keep channel view private. I'm going to click on share channel view with everyone. So once you click here, just wait for this access to change to public. So just wait a little bit and it's going to change the status to public. So yes, it has already changed to public. So if you click on public view, okay, we are going to have the public view. So anybody, on the internet can see this channel even though they will not be able to edit it but they can have a read only access on it so just grab the url and you can share with anybody so 
the next thing I want to show you is to, how to create visualization. For now, we only have line graph showing our temperature and humidity value. So what if you want to add gauge or anything? So I just come back to add visualizations or we click on hard widget. So if you add the visualization, it depends. For now, I'm just going to click on hard widget. And we have three different widgets display for us. We have gauge. I'm going to click on next. You can click on numeric display if you want to see the data as it is. So I'm going to click on gauge. So which field that I want to select? The temperature, which is field one. So everything is good the way it is. I'll just click on create. And if I scroll down, I'm going to have a temperature gauge displayed here showing where my temperature is. I can create another one. Here I'm going to create a numeric display for my humidity field two. And I'm going to name this. And with that, I'm going to click on create. If you scroll down, you're going to see our humidity being displayed in numbers. So that's basically how to send data from ESP8266 to ThinkSpeak platform. As you can see, it's quite easy to work with ThinkSpeak and it provides easy support. So whenever you need help, you can just search online for the help. So thanks very much, guys. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also click on the notification icon so you'll be notified whenever I drop a new tutorial. So that's it basically on how to send data from ESP8266 to ThinkSpeak platform. The link to the code is being shared in the description below. You can edit it to your taste. For, for this tutorial, I'm just sending two different telemetries. So you can send up to it. So depending on your choice. So that's it, guys. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.